thank the Lord for his blessings upon our lives in the name of Jesus. We thank God for his blessings and his favor. And we thank God for blessing us and bringing us here to listen to the word of God. This is Reverend Dennis Alani from Revelation Power Ministries. You're welcome to Dennis Alani Ministries. And my prayer is that you'll be blessed today through the word of God in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We're going to share the word from the book of Isaiah chapter 35, the verse number 1 through 5. Just a short scripture that was going to bless somebody because I know God is about to take someone from glory to glory. And this is your word in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that the desert and the past land will be glad and the wilderness will rejoice and blossom. Like the carcass, it will burst into bloom. It will rejoice greatly and shout for joy. The glory of Lebanon shall be given to it and the splendor of Carmel and Sharon. And they will see the glory of the Lord. Verse 3 says, strengthen the feeble hands and steady the knees that give away. Say to those with a fearful heart, your God will come. He will come with great vengeance and retributions and he will come to save you. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened. The ears of the deaf will be unstopped. The mute will speak and the lame will live for joy. The theme for today is that your God will come. The title of my message is what? Your God will come. Many people are waiting too long and they think that God will never show up. They feel that God is so far away that he will never come into their aid. Sometimes they feel that they have been rejected for too long. And sometimes it can cause you to be depressed, thinking your God will never come. But the word of God has come to you today that your God will come. The Bible says that say to those with a fearful heart, that do not fear for your God will come. I don't know what is making you afraid today. I don't know what is making you feel that there's no way God is going to show up. But the Lord is saying that, don't give up, for he will show up. I see somebody who is about to give up, that the Lord is about to lift you from glory to glory. I say your God will come. Don't throw in the towel yet. Don't stop yet. Don't stop praying. Don't stop believing, for your God will come. The Bible says when he comes, he will come with great vengeance and retributions. And he will come to save you. You understand it? The Bible says that when he comes, he will come and pay your enemies back. Oh. You didn't hear me. The battle doesn't belong to you. It belongs to God. He said he will come with great vengeance and great retributions and he will save you. And when he comes, there are so many things God, that God will do when he comes. The Bible says when he comes, the eyes of the blind shall be opened. Some people physically you are not blind, but you are blind to opportunities. When things come your way, you don't see it. Anytime the Lord opens the door, somebody will come and stand in the way so you don't see it. But we say that when it counts, your eyes shall be open. I prophesy into your life that anything that is blocking you from seeing your future, seeing your blessing, seeing your breakthrough, the Lord will bring it to you in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that your eyes of the blind shall be open. Not only that, but the Bible says that the ears of the deaf shall be unstopped. Yes. Sometimes you are not physically deaf, but you are deaf to opportunities. When blessing comes, you are the last person to hear it. Many people will hear it, but you are the last person. When there is a job, when there is an open door, everybody will know about it, but you won't. But the Bible says when it comes, your ears will be open. Your ears will be hearing good news. The Bible says that when God comes, the eyes of the blind shall be open. For eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. Does it also come into the heart of man? But God has planned for them that he loves. My brother, my sister, your God is coming. Your ears will hear some good news. You will pick up the phone and there shall be a blessing. I see somebody listening now and watching that the Lord is opening their ears to hear something good in their life. There is a prophecy that is going to show you that God is taking you from one level to the other. Anything that is blocking your blessing, we come against it in the name of Jesus. Yes, the Bible says that your ears shall be open. The Bible says that the mute will speak. So, you know, when the enemy is attacking, you attack your voice. You speak it, nobody takes you serious. You bring a, a suggestion, nobody takes you serious. Even in your family, people don't even value you because they think that there's nothing good coming out of you. But the Bible says when it comes, your mouth shall be open. Your tongue shall be loose. Now you'll be able to speak. Oh, this made me remember this man who was mute, who was deaf, deaf and dumb. The Bible said that he couldn't speak and he couldn't hear. The Bible said they brought him to Jesus and said, Jesus, can you do something about it? Oh, the Bible said that Jesus looked at the man and mixed some sand with a spit and touched the tongue and he said, Empathy, which means what? Be open. And the Bible said immediately his tongue was loose and his ears were open. Today I prophesy Empathy into your life that anything that has been closed, let it be open in the name of Jesus. For when your God comes, he will lose your tongue for blessing. He will lose your tongue for favor. Any 
anything that belongs to you, I prophesy that you get it in the name of Jesus, for your God will come. Yes. The Bible says that the lame will live like a deer. Mm. Make sure you remember the man at the beautiful gate. The Bible says that he was crippled. He saw himself crippled. Even people were telling him he was crippled. He believed he was crippled. But God saw something different. See, sometimes what you believe about you is not what God believes about you. Are you hearing me? God sees something different from you. The Bible says he was there begging for arms. And the Bible says that when Peter came around, he looked at him and said, My brother, you think you are crippled. You're looking for money. But silver and gold is not what you need. What I need is what I'm going to give it to you. In the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. I see somebody rising up from the the poverty, from shame, from disappointment for the Lord himself has visited you I don't know what you are going through today I came to prophesy unto you your God will come Amen. when you come you will walk yes. let them laugh at you right now but you will walk Amen. let them laugh at you right now, you will run the Bible says that you will run faster than the chariots of Ahab, why? because God has come into your life, I see somebody who is depressed, facing trials in your life, but don't give up now for your miracle is on the way Amen. Remember, God has set you high. Amen. No one can set you lower. Well, God bless you. I pray that this word has blessed your life. And I pray that you'll be increased in faith. Don't give up for your miracle is on the way. If you want more prayers, call this number that is on the screen. And the Lord is going to bless your life. Or go to our website, Dennis Allen and Ministries, and you will be blessed. There is a blessing coming your way. So don't give up for your God will come. Stay blessed.